Up until now, all of the functions that we've been working with have been expressed as one type of equation. In this section, finding piecewise functions, we'll be working with the function of x, or f of x, now described as two different equations. The reason we can have two different equations is because of these conditional statements over here where we have an inequality as related to our x. Remember, x is our domain. So we have the top function of 1 half times x plus 3 halves if x is less than or equal to a positive 1. That means for all values on our x axes where x is less than or equal to 1, we will effectively see this graph. And after, after that, where x is greater than 1, we'll see the graph of the opposite of x plus 3. So before we go any further, I want to talk to you about evaluating these types of piecewise functions. Again, it's a piecewise function. The way we evaluate a piecewise function, say this same f of x, at a certain value of x, is to first use our inequalities to determine which equation we will use, and then to simply plug the value of x in for whichever equation fits. So, first example, let's take the function value of this piecewise function at a negative 2. Express f of negative 2, the only difference between here and here, again, is now that wherever we see x, we see a negative 2. The first part of evaluating is to see where negative 2 fits in for x and makes a true statement in the inequalities. So, I'll insert up here, negative 2, and a negative 2. In the first statement, negative 2, we're checking to see if it is less than or equal to 1. Because it is, we're going to use this statement or this equation of x to find my function value. So, so because, because negative 2, two is less than is or less equal than to, or one, to 1, and that checks, it's a true statement, we're going to plug in a negative 2 for my 1 half times x plus 3 halves. So the function value at a negative 2 is 1 half times the quantity negative 2, which again is the value of x that I'm substituting in, plus 3 halves. Simplifying down, I've got 1 half times a negative 2, which gives me a negative 2 over 2, or a negative 1. I'm going to leave it in half notation and add on to it 3 halves, providing myself with a common denominator of 2, which simplifies as a negative 2 plus 3, or a positive 1 